Today we're going to show you a rather popular upgrade. What we have here is a four pole flat that's been installed on a vehicle and the owner actually has a boat trailer now he recently purchased and it has a five wire flat instead of a four wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert that four wire up to a five wire and we'll be showing you how to do it with part numbers 20036 which is the adapter itself and the bracket part number 20046. Our first step we need to do is go ahead and take off the four pole and then we'll uninstall a bracket and put in a new bracket. Okay. It may take some force, but you gotta pull, get this out of here. We actually use a rubber mallet to tap it a little bit. And now this bracket can come off, which we already loosened up. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall our new bracket and we'll go in the same spot as before. What we're going to do next is go ahead and get our four pole ready. We've cleaned it out with some WD-40 and then we're going to install some but dielectric grease. And what we're going to do is put that inside here and then we'll attach our four pole from our adapter inside there and we'll come out our five pole. And then our five pole adapter will actually get mounted to the bracket here. One thing I like to do when I have them connected and it's going to be semi-permanent, I'll put a zip tie all the way around it so it can never come off. And we're going to install our five pole. Next we'll go ahead and install our lead to go up to the reverse light. And as you see it comes in the kit with the other half. We put some dielectric grease in there and we'll go ahead and install those together. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and wrap some electrical tape around it because this will be a semi-permanent connection also. What we've done here is we went ahead and zip tied our wire harness together, made it nice and as compact as possible. And now the next step point is to go ahead and find a place to hide it. If you can hide it behind a bumper, if you got room, great. If not, because we don't have much room here, we're going to go ahead and just actually tuck it all up behind underneath the bracket here. And we're going to get it all protected, so it should be fine. We'll just go ahead and zip tie it underneath the bracket. Okay. Now the next step is to go ahead and run our blue wire up to reverse light. Okay, what we ne next need to do is go ahead and take off our tail light so we can get to our reverse light lead. There it goes. We've got the back of our tail light exposed here. If you look from the front, you can tell which one is your reverse light. And it's going to be pretty easy to find. It's, on this one, it's on the top here. It's just got two wires. Black is going to be typically your ground, but double check with your other vehicle, with your vehicle. And then we have a white wire, it looks like it's going to be positive. Okay, we'll run our wire, our connection, we'll trace it down, and we'll run our connection right about somewhere in here. So we got some pretty close quarters running a wire through, so what we're going to do is take this simple wire here, use anything you want around the house, just as long as you can manipulate it and keep it in a straight line. We'll just go run it down to the bottom, and then we'll tie off to it and pull it back through. All right, we got our wire through. And let's go ahead and just wrap a wire around the other wire, a pull wire. Sweet. And we'll go ahead and pull it back up through. Like we said earlier, we're gonna go ahead and attach to this to reverse light lead right here at about this junction. We'll use a scotch lock. It's a device that connects two wires together. It comes with the kit. You simply just slide it on like so. And then you're the half of the wire with the blue wire we ran. It's going to go get pushed in alongside of it. There's a stop on one side. So what you want to do is make sure that the wire will go all the way through and go across the metal here. So the metal can do its job when you squeeze it with a pair of pliers. It'll make the connection, cutting through the plastic. Do a tug to make sure you got it right. And snap your cover on. Now we're ready to go ahead and reinstall our light. 
Now we can go ahead and reattach our tail light, put our wire connector back in. So go ahead and reinstall. Okay, we'll go ahead and give it the acid test. We'll go ahead and ground it here. And we'll check the reverse light lead on the outside here. We'll go ahead and put it in reverse and try it. All right, looks like it works. Okay, and to recap, we used part numbers 20036. That's the four five-way flat adapter. And the bracket itself, part number 20046.